In this video, we will show you how to use the DLX900 software to upgrade the firmware of a Reliance XR series intrusion alarm panel. Before we start, make sure the panel is connected to a network and with the panel's web access passcode already configured. In this example, we will connect the panel to a LAN network. After having downloaded and installed the DLX900 software on a Windows laptop or PC that is also connected on the same LAN network as the panel, we'll go ahead and launch the application. The first thing we'll be asked for is the application's default username and password, which can be found in the DOX 900 user manual. We'll need to change the password to something else and log back in. Next, we will enter in the customer's details. In this example, we'll select the discovery method. The discovery method scans for panels on the same LAN network. Select the panel after it has been found and click save. Information from the panel including the IP address, port number, serial number will be relayed into the appropriate text sections. The web access passcode for the panel must be entered in order to be able to connect. When all the details have been entered, click save and close the customer details window. Next we'll click download from the menu, select connect, then click on connect TCP IP. Once connected, we'll click on the device menu, select device info, and click on the control info tab. It's now time to perform the upgrade. Click on update control and select the appropriate firmware file you wish to use. Once the upgrade process is finished, which can take up to two minutes, a pop-up message will notify you that your device has been successfully upgraded. The panel will restart itself and you will need to wait a moment before being able to reconnect back. To ensure proper functionality, carriers engineers recommend repeating the upgrading procedure once more. This step will ensure that the menu strings and memory map are updated correctly. We'll reconnect again and perform the upgrade once more. The procedure will be the same as the first time but this time you should disregard the caution that it is the same firmware version as on the panel. 